What's going on everybody? Kellen here from The Savvy Couple. Today I have 10 must-have Chrome extensions that every blogger should be using. Let's get into it. So, I'm going to get myself in the bottom here and open right up. And the first one, so these are all Chrome extensions. You need Google Chrome to have these. Um, it might work in other browsers such as Safari or Firefox, but we use Chrome and really enjoy them. First one here is Buffer. Buffer is the social media scheduling tool we use and we have used since we started blogging two and a half years ago. It's super useful for curating content and scheduling out your posts for all your social media platforms. Um, there is, you can get a free account uh, and it will let you schedule up to 10 times per page. So if you have a Facebook page, you can get 10, Twitter 10. Uh, and you can also upgrade to the, I think it's like $9 a month and you can schedule up to 100 posts and put them in your queue. We've been using them. They're absolutely incredible, great customer service, and they've worked really well for us. I'm gonna show you a quick example here. So we're on our site, and I'm just gonna click into a article. And if we're on a website that's ours or someone else's, we can simply click this up top, the buffer Chrome extension, and all of our accounts are linked right here. We can easily go in give a little blurb on what we want to say, a little call to action, add it to the queue, and it automatically schedules the post for us on social media. So really helpful, really useful, huge time saver, definitely highly recommended. Even if you're only using the, the free version, totally worth it. Next we have our, not yet. Next is Loom. So Loom is a cloud-based video software program and it's saying we can't record because we're already recording. Uh, but you can you can basically record any type of video you want, uh, screen share, just a big picture of your face like I did in the beginning, and it's all cloud-based, so it automatically saves to the cloud. It's a free service, up to 100 videos, and it's pretty excellent. The quality is really, really good, and the best part is you can share a link to anyone you want, and there's no downloading of a video or buffering it or anything like that. You simply click the button, click record, click finish. It automatically saves to the cloud and then you have a link that you can share to team members on your team, your blogging team, if you've uh, been on your blogging journey for a while and you have a team. Or if you're just getting started, you can share videos on your theme and how you're having trouble with certain stuff on your blog to see if people can help in Facebook groups. So it's just an overall great tool as a creator you're probably making a bunch of videos, so definitely check out Loom, and it's L-O-O-M. The third one here we have is called Color Pick Eyedropper. So anytime you're making graphics design, it's very really important to have a seamless color coding and have everything look the exact same. So anytime we're making a graphic design and we have a company that we're using or we have our branding from our website, we make sure to use the same hex code. So this is a little eyedropper tool. You can drag it and figure out exactly what color it is with the hex code. You simply click, save that color, and then you can put it into um, into your whatever program you're using. But simply copy paste and it's right there. So really, really useful for making sure that all your colors match and your graphics are looking important on Pinterest. Uh, second, no, we're on the third. So, Tailwind. We have Tailwind and we use it quite often. So if we are on a, let's go to our site again. So we're on our site and we're on how to start a budget. Click Tailwind. It's gonna pull up all the pictures on this article and we can simply click it and underneath my picture here is schedule and it'll automatically schedule it um, to, pin, to Tailwind and schedule it to Pinterest at the best times for our audience. So this is really, really useful if you are on Pinterest or on an article, like a lifestyle article that has a bunch of pins that you can select from. But we've found it most useful for right here. If, you're on, if you search Crock-Pot recipes, you can simply go through, click a bunch of these, schedule them all at once instead of manually pinning and scheduling them together or one at a time. Another huge time saver productivity hack, which by the way, as a blogger, as a business owner, your number one asset is your time. So whether you're just getting started, you've been doing it for a while, or you're an expert blogger, you should be making sure that you're tracking your time, 
that you're using it efficiently and protect it because it is your greatest asset and making sure that you're using it correctly and um, putting your effort and time into the right things as an owner, as a business owner is really, really important. So just a little side note. Uh, I think this is the fifth one and this is called Pocket. So when we first started, we had a bunch of different articles and I'm gonna go ahead and click into this article. And to, you always come across articles that you wanna save and you don't know what to do with them. So you either email them to yourself, you write them on a post-it note, a um, bunch of different things. We found that Pocket is the best way to save articles. So this one's 193 blog ideas for starting a blog, which is pretty sweet. That's a huge article. And she's got some great looking stuff up top here. Opt-in, that always catches my eye. So go ahead and click Pocket and it's saved. So pretty simple. And then you can go into your Pocket account and you can see all of your articles that you've pinned and it's basically like a private Pinterest board and you can pin all of the articles that you want to refer to later. So just a really good and quick and easy way to save and archive articles that you wanna go back to and use as a resource. Um, I might actually keep that article up and check it out. So the sixth, we're on the sixth one here, Chrome extensions that all bloggers must have. This one is huge, especially as you grow and you start to get more Accounts, um, I can't even tell you how many accounts we have to remember the username and password for. So there's obviously, you need a solution for that, especially if you are starting to build out a team and you have to share passwords and you don't want to actually give up your password to, to um, your team and you can share it secretly. LastPass. So it's an absolutely free account um, and I'm not sure if there's a cap. I'm pretty sure there's not. There's, there's also a paid version, which gives you a little bit more features. But for starting out, LastPass, it's absolutely free, totally worth it. You set up an account. Um, I'm not going to go into mine because I don't want to show anything that's personal. But you can simply save all of your login information. And once you get to a website, it will automatically fill it in if you want. Or you can make it so you can select LastPass and it'll log you in correctly. So it's just a way to save everything really safe online. Uh, all your login information and I think the most important part of it is being able to share passwords with either family members or um, team members of your blog and it's just really streamlined so totally check out LastPass another big time saver so you're not scrambling around trying to find those passwords that seem to always lose in your head. Uh, Grammarly is kind of self-explanatory everyone should have Grammarly it's a free service They've actually just added it to Google Doc. So if you write your articles in Google Doc, now Grammarly can connect and integrate with Google Doc, which is incredible. So you have a person basically looking, another set of eyes looking over your back and making sure that your stuff is all spelled out correctly, good grammar, all that stuff. Which if you know who I am, I have dyslexia and I am terrible with grammar. I'm not very good at spelling either. So having Grammarly is a must for us to succeed blogging. It's, uh, it's been a huge lifesaver and it's free, so you can't go wrong. So now we're going to get into the nitty gritty stuff, my favorite, SEO. So let's do a quick search for crock pot meals. It's getting to be lunchtime. I'm getting hungry, so food's on my mind. So inside crock pot meals, we have a bunch of articles that are ranking on page one. If you go ahead and click the Ahrefs, and I have to log in. You can create a. Should be logged in already. There we go. Create a free account, and it's going to tell you a bunch of information that's super to get into SEO and learn how to rank on Google. So it gives you your URL uh, rating, how many backlinks it has, how many keywords it's ranking for. So if this article, this article can be ranking for more than one keyword at a time. Um, their domain authority. And just a bunch of other stuff, which I would have to look into to figure out. But it's mostly useful to figure out the domain authority, how many backlinks they have, to kind of give you an idea if you can rank for this keyword. And it also up top, so this has 51,000 searches a month and around 43 clicks, and a KD of 17. 
So I believe that's keyword difficulty, so it's a pretty easy word to rank for, and you can go after it. So just useful information for SEO, and Ahrefs is the best tool out there, bar none, so definitely check it out. And another nice, I believe you can go if we went to the penny hoarder. If we go to the penny hoarder and we want to click on an individual article, how to start paying down debt. You can click this up top and it's going to pull the information. So they have a domain rating of 75, which is really, really high. And how many backlinks they have to this domain. Just a bunch of stuff that is very, very useful. Again, just another way to use the tool. And the cool part is, Ahrefs is you can have a free account and do a couple searches per month, or I'm sorry, such a, a couple searches per day. You can have your website on there and you can track some keywords um, for free. So definitely check them out. Second, I'm gonna switch these two. The ninth must have, let me close this one. The ninth must-have Chrome extension for bloggers, all bloggers, is Keyword Everywhere. So this is a tool that is just another SEO tool, and it's really useful. So this one's saying it's 90,000 searches a month, which if you've been in the game for a while, you're going to know that all the SEO tools are a little bit different. They're going to rank stuff differently and give you different data. So it's not too critical. You just want to know that it's got a really good amount of searches per month, but the best um, part of this is it gives you related keywords. So when you're writing an article and you're trying to rank for crockpot meals, you can also try to rank for slow cooker recipe beef, slow cooker recipe chicken. All these are related keywords and they, we call these secondary keywords um, that you can put and sprinkle throughout your post and try to rank for more than one keyword with the same article. So you're just using that article to really drive traffic um, by creating and taking the time to see which secondary keywords you can go after as well. Um, and then there's also these other searches that people are going after and looking at on a monthly basis, and you can see the volume and the competition and cost per click. So that's if people are paying for ads to get people to click through on those keywords. But just another really good um, keyword tool to help improve your SEO strategy altogether. And I'm going to link to a... After I get through this, I'm going to link to a uh, course that I think all bloggers should take. It's called Stupid Simple SEO. And we, within six months, we went from getting 4,000 searches to over 50,000. We 10 x our um, Google search traffic, which is absolutely amazing. And it's a great course. It's going on sale next week, so I'm going to be letting all of our blogging friends know that. But definitely check it out if, this, if you watch this video a year from now still going to be an awesome course. Mike Pearson does an incredible job creating it. So just another side note. Sorry about that. Brit's calling. Just going to have to wait for one second. All right. So now we have keyword or uh, word count plus. So we're going to go into this one right here. The girl on the lore. Huh. Never been to this site. So Another keyword tool, we're going to select here, another SEO tool, I'm sorry. We're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. Of course, the site's a little slow, so this is probably a terrible. I'm not going to use this. What about our site? Because our site is fast. Okay, so let's go to, we'll go to a debt store here. We'll talk about why this couple lived in a car, even though it's a sailboat, because they started in a car and then moved to a sailboat. But let's select all of this and say we're trying to rank for living in a car, which I think we are for this one. Lived in a car. Okay, so now you're going to right click. So you're going to select all of the text. You're going to right click and you're going to go word count plus. This is going to tell you how many words are in this article. So it's kind of like Google Doc or Word where you can see your word count and it's just super important. So if you're looking on page one on how to live in a car, you go to like the top five or so and you just go through and see how many words 
are in each article and get an average, you'll know uh, the mountain in front of you that you have to um, climb in order to make an article that's going to rank on page one. So you know a general understanding of, okay, if I want to rank on page one, I'm going to need an article that's 1,500 words or 2,000 words. So just a really nice, useful, quick and easy tool uh, for Chrome so you can go into different websites and quickly see how many words you're going to need to rank. And that is it, folks. That was 10 quick and easy Chrome extensions I think all bloggers should need. Hopefully that was super helpful for you. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I will link to all of them in the description below. And as always, we'd love for you to join our blogging group, Blogging With Purpose. We'll see you over there.